AMD's Radeon Vega Frontier Edition graphics card officially launches today. The new card is aimed at data scientists, immersion engineers, and product designers, making it a sort of semi-pro workstation and professional product. The AMD Radeon Vega Frontier Edition was previewed by PC World, who got to play with the card in a very closed environment over at AMD's test lab, and we'll link to that in the description. The price for the Frontier Edition is also confirmed at $1,200 US dollars for the air-cooled version and $1,800 US dollars for a liquid-cooled variant. The Radeon Vega Frontier Edition is officially planned for launch on the 27th of June, which is today. In terms of specification, the card comes with 4,096 stream processors and clocked beyond 1550 MHz to deliver 13 teraflops of FP32 and 25 teraflops of FP16 compute performance. There is also 16 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM, which comes in two stacks, which 8 gigs per stack. The graphics card has a total rated bandwidth of 480 gigabits per second, which is a bit lower than the 512 gigabits per second found on Fiji. It also features a pixel rate fill of 90 gigapixels per second. The AMD Radeon Vega Frontier Edition will again be available in two different variants. One will be the air-cooled model, which comes in a nice blue industrial texture with a glowing yellow R emblem placed on the corner, and the graphics card comes with a Radeon label and logo on the sides and the front. The back is covered by a nice blue textured backplate, and the whole card is powered by dual 8-pin connectors, configuration which confirms the TDP of around 300 watts, or so, could be lower based on load. The card is cooled by a single blower style fan that throws air out of the I.O. side exhaust on the back of the card. Now the second card has also been shown and comes in a brushed golden texture on the shroud and it features the same logos but this time in a blue LED lighting and the card is exactly the same size from the fact that it features a liquid cooler to be sh as shown by the two being extended out the front. The liquid cooler comes shipped with a TDP of 375 watts which is 75 watts higher than the air cooled variant but will operate at much faster speeds due to the extra cooling. Now just to reiterate, the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition technical features are it's powered by the Radeon Vega architecture, has 25 teraflops of peak FP16 compute performance, 13 teraflops of peak FP32 compute performance, 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth cache, 64 next gen compute units, gone are the days of GCN, we are now looking at the NCUs, as well as 4096 stream processors. So that's the launch of the Radeon R. Whoops, almost got you there. The Radeon Vega Frontier Edition. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.